Okay, everybody, how we doing? It's Extra Gomer Gaming here. We're gonna crack a whole box of Ixalan sealed booster box. I kind of fell out the curve of this set, so I'm gonna crack one, and we're gonna go through the cards. And I'll also have four extra packs here. I believe that would be a total of 40 packs, but I set them up like this so I can keep organization because this is my first unboxing video ever. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna push these up some. And you know, one will be the commons, the uncommons, the tokens and lands, and then our mythics will be right here on the left hand side. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this battery holds up. And if not, I will change the battery out and fix it with a magical power of editing. But uh, thanks for joining me and wish me luck on some high dollar cards. I do have a site pulled up here in front of me to kind of check prices out because I'm debating on whether or not to throw the prices into the uh, video or not. And excuse me, I'll leave it just, yeah, move the camera just a bit. Sorry for the slight glare over here. I'm next to an open window, uh, well, not an open window, but the window's there and I don't have a curtain on it just yet. Remodeling, tell me about it. But. All right, let's go ahead and we'll crack into the first pack of Ixalan. All right. So, Ryle, Shining Aerosaur, Deep Root Warrior, One with the Wind, Vanquish the Wheat, Jungle Delver, Ancient Brontodon, uh, Tishana's Wayfinder, Prying Blade, Headstrong Brute. All right, so we're going to move these uncommons here. Or excuse me, common cards here. Sorry, and I know I just said differently on the, at the beginning of the video, but we'll fix it as we need to. Uh, we have Field of Ruin, Trove of Temptation, River Sneak, and Fleet Swallower. All right, so we're gonna set these here, move these over, and then there's the land and the token. Boom. Um, as a matter of fact, we might as well put the rares over here too just as well if we need to fix it more we'll fix it more this play mats from jack's game center in jacksonville florida if anyone was wondering it's a one of their local artists made it for them right. pack number two out of the four randoms All right. neat art some neat art in this set. I like the dinosaur theme too. Uh, I believe it was time for it. I don't know the, the last time that they did dinosaurs, or if they have even done dinosaurs, and then more dragons. A ruin raider. There we are. And then land in the token again. So hopefully we pull some good cards from here. I, like I said, I kind of fell off the curve with this set and. I'm running, trying to play catch up now with Rivals, Dominaria. I got into a good bit, but uh, other than that, I was just, I don't know. I was a, uh, a point where I wasn't really feeling magic for a while. Lightning Rig Crew, Thundering Spineback, Optic Huntmaster, Shadowed Caravel. A checklist card, so we'll put that over there. And then our token. I may even lower this camera some in the next set. Desperate Castaways, Opt. Opt's a good card. It's a good one drop. <laughs> Helps you pull. Imperial Lancer, Lookout's Dispersal. Raptor Hatchling, another Ruin Raider, and then the Merfolk token this time. All right, let's get into the into the uh, the box. Nothing up my sleeves, nothing in my hat. Just kidding. Let's do it. I don't want to cut the box. I just want to. There we go. Get a plastic cut. That's a Smith & Wesson MP knife. Put that guy up on Amazon. Pretty good knife. The clip broke on it, but I'm notorious for breaking knife clips. 
So it may be operator error. All right, let's just slide you down in there. Can we make it happen? Can we make it? Can we do it? Yeah, there we go. Look at there. Full tilt setup. All right. All right, next. Let's do it. If anyone has tips for the overhead camera, help a brother out. Like I say, this is my first one. I'll learn. I'll get to where I can learn. I saw a good corn. Sheltering light. Dead eye plunderers. It's a decent card, I guess. Dante Vanguard. Repeating barrage. And a treasure. I like treasure. I want to find some treasure. That'd be neat one day. Pack number two. Out of the box. Mark of the Vampire. Sure Strike. Queen's Commission. Blight Keeper. Deaths of Desire. River Herald's Boon. Pirate's Prize. Spike Tail Ceratops. Crushing Canopy. Sky March. Blood Letter. Sentinel Totem as the first one. I kind of like this card. Uh, it's a good card in my opinion. And it looked foil on the camera just then, but that was just a red light hitting it. Sorry about that. Emissary of Sunrise, Chart of Course. Captain Lannery Storm. Is that a good one? When it attacks, create a colorless treasure token. When you sacrifice a treasure, it gets plus one, plus zero to the end of the turn. I don't know. I hadn't played it. <laughs> an illusion. It's an illusion. Anybody else like Avenged Sevenfold? One of my favorite bands. Alright, next pack. Tear it on that. Blight Keeper. Colonial's Knight, Queen's Commission, Prosperous Pirates, Deep Root Warrior, Shore Keeper, Jade Guardian, Water Trap Weaver, Binding, Blinding Fog. And here's our Uncommons, Pillar of Origins, Dinosaur Stampede, Drover of the Mighty, Emperor's Vanguard. It explores. The exploring mechanic is pretty good in my opinion. I like that one too. Um, just for the sake of playing new decks on Magic... Uh, Arena, their computer game. Um, I haven't been on there in a while, and I just, I don't know. I find it really, I do find the, the concept neat and everything, so. I'm gonna cook them with grease, I guess. Desperate Castaways, Sun Crown Hunters, Vampire Zeal, Sailor Means, Ollie's Keeper, Fire Cannon Blast, Spreading Rock, Costly Plunder, Headwater Sentries, Hierophant's Chalice, and our Uncommons going into those. Wanted Scoundrels, Dead Eye Quartermaster, Drover and Mighty, Kapala, Kapala, Warden of Wades. Is our rare spells that your opponent casts that target a merfolk you cost cost two more to cast abilities your opponent activate that target a merfolk you cost cost two more to activate flavor text I know these waters better than you know yourselves ooh get them another checklist and a treasure put the checklist over there treasure token goes there. I've lost count of where we're at. I do believe this is pack number four. Um, we are on our way. I'll just go past the commons and ra Raiders Wake, Walk the Plank, Glore Fire of Dusk. Rip Jaw Raptor. When it's dealt damage, you draw a card. That's just some rage key. Uh, I've seen a bunch of these played on uh, Arena. 
I haven't gotten one foil yet, to be honest with you. That's, uh, if this set was like that, please enlighten me on that, because I had no idea. I got a bunch of goodies to crack open. Um, make sure you come back. I got some Iconic Masters. I got a box of Masters 25, and I'm saving up to get an Ultimate Masters box. Queen's Commission Black Keeper. Fathom Fleet Firebrand, Depths of Desire, River Hell's Boon, Pirates Cutlass, Anointed Deacon, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Siren Drews, Jungle Delver. Here we go, Sleek Schooner. A Sleek Schooner. Crew 1, it's a 4 3 for 3 drop. That is nice. Makeshift Munitions. Sacrifice an artifact or creature. Deals 1 damage to a target creature or player. Nah, maybe for. Oh, what you call it? Charter Course. Oh, a mythic Admir Admiral Beckett Brass. Let's see what these guys are. Let's see what these guys are looking like. That is our first mythic out of the pack, uh, out of the box, rather. Got a plant treasure. Let's see. Oh, boy. Well, they don't sell for very good, so. We're not on our way to the Ultimate Masters box quite yet. That is a five cent mythic. I've never seen such haberdashery in my life. But that's fine. I'm I'm not here for the money. I'm here for um you know entertainment. And because I needed to get this done. <laughs> but wanted to share it with you guys rather than do it all by my lonesome. Yes, Nest Rubber, Shining Aerosaur, Prosperous Pirates, Blossom Dry, Cobbled Wings. Oh, that's cool. Ah, uh, two, two drop, then equip for one. What the devil? What is this expensive stuff? Harford's Chalice. Here we go, Inspiring Cleric. Deep Root Waters, I've seen that played a couple of times. Bright Reprisal, Destroy Target attacking creature and then draw a card and then dead eye tracker oh boy we're running into the thick of it even though that was our first mythic with the admiral like let's still haven't got a foil yet and i'm not sure if that's normal but oh well i'm just here for a good time not a long time Another shining aerosaur. I'll have like three play sets of that one by the time we're done. Colossal Dreadmall. Seen that one played a few times. Paladin of the Bloodstain. Mm -hmm. Emergent Growth. Fiery Cannonade. Lurking Chupacabra. Blood Crazed Paladin. Enters the battlefield with 1 1 on it for each creature that died this turn. Sacrifice a crap ton to make a big guy. Hmm. Two drop, one one. Not so bad. Island and a treasure. Treasure Island. Uh oh. Did I just get my thing? Oh, what in the world? This camera is trying to flee on me. What the heck? It is Sunday, the 23rd of December, and right before christmas so i was trying to get this done before christmas because i plan on giving some of the excess cards away i'm going through a collection now keeping a play set of them willy goblin wily goblin excuse me savage stomp and then shadow caravel again oh there is a foil perilous voyage we'll put that right there above the mythic if it'll well you can't really see it um huh right there can you see it there there we go get the glare out of here oh what a new video maker jesus christ i suck just kidding uh forest and a dinosaur is our landing token but yeah i wanted to get this done before christmas so i'm going through my whole collection now keeping a play set of everything that i have and if I have a playset and I'm not buying a playset, I'll just deal with what I have. And then moving on to the next one. I've got stuff all the way from... That felt like a lot quicker. Like 
The uncommons came a lot quicker that time. Wild Growth Walker, Tempest Collar, Merfolk Branch Walker, Goring Ceratops as the rare and a foil Shaper Apprentice common card. Shaper Apprentice has flying as long as you control another Merfolk. Two drop, two one. Or one in a blue rather than a two drop. I don't know how you guys call the casting cost. I call everybody does it different. I have no shame in calling it however anybody else wants to call it. Whatever makes anybody else comfortable. I just have my way and you can have your way. But we can all live and and you know, prosperity no matter how we call it. Okay. Dual shot. Let me move the there we go. Dual shot, slash of talons, mark of the vampire, sphere strike, storm sculptor, blossom dryad, demolish, grazing whip tail, duress, unfriendly fire, and then we're going to the uncommons. Imperial Lancer, Stormfleet Aerialist, Otepec, Otepec Huntmaster, I don't know. Rootbound Crag as a rare land. I'm sure that's got a little bit of price on that. Planes and Treasure, I might be wrong. I know I keep bringing up price, but I'm not here for it. see 17 cents ah it's okay bishop soldier marched around round one with the wind crashed the ramparts call with wings pounce spell pierce ritual of rejuvenation i need one of those wind strider Heartless Pillage is our first uncommon out of this pack. Oh, Heartless Pillage. Mm, wow. Walk the Plank. Oh, look at them sharks down there. Dun, 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 dun. Just kidding. River Sneak. And then Thematic Compass is a good card, even though it's underrated in my opinion. I do find it as a good card. I think it really is underrated, though. It's a great card. And then you flip it, and boom. Look at there. Add colorless to your mirror pool and then untap target attacking creature and opponent controls and remove it from combat wow at the at the value there i like the artwork too on these uh land cars this is it transforms into spires of orazga all right so that's a good little rare card and then another checklist and a vampire token vampires are in the white this time oh my goodness here comes my dogs Alright, next we have Fire Shrine Keeper, Skyblade of the Legion, Skittering Heart Stopper, Shipwreck Looter, Commune with Dinosaurs, Run Aground, Unknown Shores. They've reprinted this card. Swashbuckling, Headwater Sentries, Vanquish the Weak, and then we'll go into our Uncommons. Vicious Conquistador, Rigging Runner. Dark Nourishment. Star of Extinction. Oh, wow. Destroy target land. Star of Extinction deals 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Big, big facts that this is a board wipe. Uh, I'll probably play this in the commander deck, to be honest with you. If it's legal, don't know if it is. Don't know if it's legal in commander. We'll see. Excuse my lack of knowledge because as I said, I kind of fell away on this set and kind of just did other stuff All right, then we have a swamp and a treasure as our land and token It would appear that We are getting almost halfway I've lost count. I'm not gonna lie. I've lost count Count your trash. No, I don't associate with trash. <laughs> but there's on night, Black Keeper. Till an alley's night. Jay Guardian, Shore Keeper, Headstrong Brute. Kinjali's Caller. Nice. Stormfleet Pyromancer, Spreading Rot, Raptor Companion. Stead, oh. Steadfast Armasaur is our first uncommon. Siren Storm Tamer. Marauding Looter. And then in the beginning of your end step, if you tap with creature this turn, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Cool. Captivating crew. 
a red rare, three colorless and a red, gain control of a target creature and opponent controls until the end of turn. Untap that creature gains haste until the end of turn. Activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. Hmm, it's a four three. It's it's not the best in my opinion. Um, a pirate. Arg. I think that's the first pirate token we got so far. Um, it's not the greatest uh, mana ability for the same thing as active treason. And I want to say. I don't remember if I saw that in Magic 19 or not, but anyway. Dead Eye Tormentor, Sure Strike, Legion's Judgment, Skittering Heartstopper, Jade Guardian, Shorekeeper, Paladin of the Bloodstain, Blinding Fog, Contract Killing, Cancel, Lookouts, Dispersal is our first uncommon out the pack. Lookouts, Dispersal, Raptor Hatchling, Sky Terror. Uh, red and white for flying and menace 2-2 that's nice Maverin Fang Dusk Apostle is our rare vampires and pirates do not get along with dinosaurs and merfolk it's crazy how many uh, how many um, different clans I guess you would call it they have in this set frenzied raptor tear it on night queen's bay soldier rummaging goblin shaper apprentice new horizons duress and friendly fire ritual of rejuvenation cancel rigging runner is our un first uncommon rigging runner call to the feast create three one one white vampire creation tokens with life link that's cool imperial aerosaur verdant sun's avatar is our rare when it or another creature is in the battlefield under my control i gain life equal to that creature's toughness what insane in the membrane insane in the brain a forest and a treasure that's a five colorless and two force for that one and it is a five five dinosaur avatar all right, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Sun Crown Hunters, Vampire Zeal, Desperate Castaways, Sailor of Means. What if it was Sailor of Memes? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Crash Ramparts, Crushing Canopy, Skymarsh Bloodletter, Dive Down, PS Interdiction, Slice in Twain, Mark Twain? What? Just kidding. Destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment and Draw a Card. Two and two green. Duskborn Sky Marcher, Shapers of Nature, and we have Advanced Blasting Cannons. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. If it's an all-in card, you may cast a card this turn. You cast your third spell in one turn, you may transform Advanced Blasting Cannons. Hello, puppies. And it turns into Spitfire Bastion, a legendary land. Add red to your mana pool, or two in a red. It deals three damage to target creature or player. Now, instead of a ship, Ripley Vance commands a fortress. Nice. Good job, Ripley. Getting your life together and moving on to bigger and better things. A checklist and a dinosaur. Oh, I believe we're almost halfway done with the box. Go. We'll see you in a little bit, puppy. Go. Go get mama. Go get mama. Next, we have uh, Brazen Buccaneers, Looming Altasaur, Queen's Bay Soldier, Fire Shrine Keeper, Exalis Keeper, Opt, Hijack, Water Trap Weaver, Blinding Fog, Paladin of the Blood Stain. The Grim Captain's Call is our uncommon to start this pack off. That's what I haven't gotten. Uh, elaborate fire cannon ranging raptors sun petal grove is our rare land i do like those lands uh, mountain and a treasure yeah the lands are uh cool i i enjoy the dual lands oh no Sun 
Petal Grove is 13 cents, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I'd just be curious about them lands because, you know, like flooded strands is insanely expensive. So, I cannot unwrap cards today. Vampire Zeal, Exali's Keeper, Opt, Stormfleet, Pyromancer, Siren's Ruse, Jungle Delver, Raptor Companion, Ancient Brontodon, Pounce. Belligerent Brontodon is our first uncommon for the pack, and also my nickname is Belligerent <laughs> Brontodon. Just kidding. Thunder and Spineback, Emissary of Sunrun, Drown Catacomb, and a Foil Skyblade of the Legion. It's a common, but... I do enjoy a good foil every now and then. With a swamp and a vampire. It's that part of the video where I plug something that's not necessary. But that was a sip of Dr. Pepper. Yes! I did it. I sold out before I even got started. What the hell? What's my problem? Get back over there. I'm trying to run away and stuff. I'll move y'all in a minute. Here we go. Slash of Talons. Queen's Agent. Commute with Dinosaurs. Sailor of Means. Pirate's Cutlass. Vanish the Weed. Jungle Doyle. Ancient Brontodon. Tashana's Wayfinder. Prying Blade. Vine Shaper Mystic is our uncommon to start this group off. Imperial Lancer, Dire Fleet Captain. I really do like that card, by the way. Dowsing Dagger. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent creates two zero two plant creature tokens with Defender. Equipped creature gets plus two plus one. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you may transform Dowsing Dagger. Equips for two, plays for two. It turns in a Lost Veil. Where you can add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. Oh, the value on that one just makes me feel so good. Another checklist and a pirate. It's the same pirate art. Are they the same pirate art? Do they have different token art in this set? Was it Eldritch Moon that had different token arts for some of their tokens? I don't know. I know Kaladesh had like three different Thopters, three different Servos, but I think that was the only tokens that they had different art for. Legion's Judgment, Skullduggery, Siren Lookout, Ravenous Daggertooth, Pounce, Prying Blade, Headstrong Brute, Kinjali's Collar, Tishana's Wayfinder, Encampment Keeper, Lookout Dispersal, Lookout dis Dispersal, Lookout's Dispersal, that's the first uncommon. Cost one less to cast if you have control a pirate. Counter target spell unless its controller pays four. Jesus. Glorifier of Dusk. Unclaimed territory. I think the unknown shores and unclaimed territory. Now correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Just don't obliterate me. Uh, I do believe. Uh, I know unknown shores. Uh, well I won't say I know. I believe they. Unclaimed territory and unknown shores were last seen in battle for Zendikar. Burning Sun's avatar is not foil, but it is a rare dinosaur avatar. When it enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to target opponent and three damage to up to one target creature. It's a rare. An island and a treasure, y'all. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna take half this stack and put it over here out of the way. A little more than half, actually. Doop. Stitch oh, sit over there and leave us alone. Oh wow, we're 30 minutes into the video now. This is a real video, right? Rummaging Goblin, Sunrise Seeker, Shaper Apprentice, New Horizon, Windstrider, Herefriend's Challenge, Costly Plunder, Fire Cannon, Blast, Our Fleet, Interloper. Yeah, okay, Encampment Keeper. Perilous Voyage again. Mm, I like that. Raider's Wake. Bellowing Aegisar. Sanctum Seeker. I haven't seen that played a lot, but I've heard it's a pretty good card because of Vampire. You control attacks. Each opponent lose one life, you gain one life. It's a 3 4 for 
two and two swamps. I had to zoom in on that guy. Planes and another merfolk. Okay, so this one does have different art, but I'm assuming it's because this one has hex proof and the last one that I saw did not. Mm. I'd like to pull up Raska, please. Just because I like the art from it. I'm not interested in other stuff. Nest robber. Oh, Toucan Sam, look at that, boy. Sunrise Seeker, Desperate Castaways, Sun Crown Hunters, Commune with Dinosaurs, Sailor of Means, Dive Down, Demystify, Skymarch Blood Letter, Demolish, Rallying Roar is our uncommon to start this pack off. Rallying Roar. Lightning Strike, uh oh, Seeker Squire, another Ruin Raider. That's three. Three Ruin Raiders. I have a place set of them by the time we're done. Another checklist. And a vampire. Oh Lord! Excuse me. I've not been sleeping very well. My wife's pregnant. She likes to toss and turn. I like to toss and turn. It's a bad combination. Let me know. It's a sword Queen's agent. Brazen Buccaneers. Prosperous Pirates. Deep Root Warrior. Dive Down. P.S. Interdiction. Demolish. Grazing Whip Tail. Makeshift Munitions is our uncommon to start this off. I believe that's number two. Deathless Ancient. That might be our first one of those. Charging Monster Sword. I know that's the first one of those. And Spell Swindle. A first for the rares. It's a counter spell. Now we have a forest and a treasure for our tokens. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's just take the rest out of here because we have three. Nope, that's four. Sixteen more packs. We're only 20 packs into this. Jeez Louise. I'm going to have to do a speed run, right? I'm going to sacrifice quality for time restraints march of the drown nest rubber shining air sword dead eye tormentor siren lookout ravenous dagger tooth paladin of the bloodstained gilded sentinel thrash of raptors and trove of temptation is our uncommon to start this one off look at that i love that art can you see it real good wow without the light blinking on it Verdant Rebirth, Snapping Sailback, it's a pretty good one. Kinjali Sunwing is our rare. Vance Blasting's Cannon's a foil rare. Oh my goodness, and it looks even better. Oh my word, that looks really good on the back. So I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that. And we're going to put that right here in the stack and uh, I'll put this right here. Another checklist and treasure. My battery might die on us. It shouldn't though. I don't know why it was like. I turned the camera on and it said three bars, and then as soon as I started the video, it dropped the two. So I may have forgotten to charge it. And we're just going to go through it because you guys are ahead of the curve than I am, right? Favorable winds. Dead Eye Plunderers again. Bonded Horncrest. Sunbird's Invocation. That sounds like that one's a, a good one. Look at the detail on the fire on that. That just looks really neat. Sorry. All right, moving on. Yes, a swamp and a vampire. Vampire swamp, get out of my swamp. That's the best I had, I'm sorry. I tried for you people and you blew it all out of proportion into something that shouldn't have been. I apologize. I've had way too much caffeine today. All right, Navigator's Ruin. That's the first one, I believe. Heartless Pillage, seen it. Unclaimed Territory, seen it. Ashes of Aberrant. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities of cards in graveyards. Whenever a creature dies, I gain a life. Holla. I guess that's okay. I haven't seen that card played much at all. It's the second card in the set. Um, and really, this is my first time hearing about it, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's the first time hearing about a lot of these cards, to be completely honest. But, you know, with the Magic Arena, you can... You, I got some packs on there, you know, and you can crack those. And 
learn the set and everything and practice without any, you know, anything coming about it. Anyway, Inspiring Cleric is our uncommon to start this one off. Deep Root Waters, Lurking Chupacabra, Waker of the Wilds, the Merfolk Shaman. Is a good one, senor, I believe. Uh, Island and a Pirate. Oh boy, we are getting there guys. We are getting close to it. We have three, seven, and eight in my hand. We'll just go to the to the good stuff, right? Bunch of bulk. Cot cell freebooter. Sleek Schooner. Ixalan's binding. That's going. Ho oh, Hawatley Warrior Poet. There's a planeswalker. I don't know if it's any good, but a zero is good. Create a 3-3 dinosaur creature token with Trample. Imagine playing this and then playing, uh, getting an extra turn after that, you know, with, with a newer card. I can't remember the name of that card. You know what I'm talking about. The Guild Giraffe Nick card, I believe. Then we have a Mountain and Dinosaur. Take an extra turn and make another dinosaur. Just keep making dinosaurs. Make you an endless combo, bro. Oh, man. Endless life game, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if we can get Saffron Olive, aka Seth, probably better than on Saffron Olive <laughs> to make a video. I love you, Seth. That's all in good fun. He's a good content creator. One of the main reasons I got back into magic. I took a little break. Navigator's Ruin, uh, Ruthless Knave. Raging Swordtooth and Jace right afterwards. What in the world? The next pack was a Jace ca Cunning Castaway. I'll be dang. I know that sounds like I got really, really excited, but I was just surprised at the outcome where I pulled one Planeswalker after another one. You never see that, like ever. That's like some bad boy magic uh, gaming right there. Shout out to my boy Joey Moss. Skadooshin over there. He's a good content creator too. The box, I believe, came from my uh, my buddy Rudy with Alpha Investments. He's a good content creator. I've watched him the longest, followed him the longest, um, and he knows what he's talking about. Wanted Scoundrels. How many dislikes for me saying Rudy's name on my video? Oops. Bright Reprisal, Dead Eye Quartermaster, Shaper Sanctuaries are rare, and Contract Killing Foil Common. Three commons, two planeswalkers, four mythics in total. Is it a boom or a bust? We may never know. I will take a brief moment to a 64 cent planeswalker, Jace. Nice, nice going guy. And then his other one. The one that comes with the dual deck costs more than the one from the actual set. How crazy is that? I'm ready to get my box of Ultimate Masters, though. I kind of want to pull a Tarmogoyf. Oh, wow. Flipped you right on out of there. All right. Let's see. I'll go through them. Yes, yes. Oh, Stormfleet Arsonist, our first one uncommon. Slice and Twain. Shapers of Nature, Angrass Marauders, hadn't saw that one yet. Five uncolored and two mountains. If a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage. Nice. That's a four, four, for seven. Plains Treasure, Hot Dog. We got four packs left, let's go. We gotta get this done before the battery dies, man. I'm just kidding. Like I said, I'll change the battery and we'll start it back up. I don't care. Mmm. Dusk Legion Dreadnought. That's a first for me. Look at that pirate ship. Wow. That's a nice butt. That's a Nemo reference for you guys. Bishop of the Bloodstain, Air Elemental. Crushing Canopy is a foil common and thematic compass. Ain't this supposed to be behind there? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Another thematic compass though. I'm excited for that. Checklist. Treasure. Check. 
treasure map is on the checklist, but these are just treasures. Hoodoo! One with the wind. Run aground. Another one of the Deacon Lightning Rig Crew. Another one of those. That was my watch telling me it's time to get up and walk around some. Sheltering Light. At Zakin Archer. Wanted Scoundrels. At Oh, that's a weird looking foil, but it's cool. Another Vance Blasting Cannons. Three of those Blasting Cannon Vances. This is a foil, so it's going to go up here with the other foils in this uncommon stack. And then another checklist and a Merfolk again. Look at all the Merfolk. Wow. I'm having a great day, guys. I know I've drank a little bit too much caffeine, but it really has got me in a creative mood. Very creative mood. All right. Dual shine. Mm -hmm. Slash town. Swarm sculpture. Boston drive. Swashbuck. Mm -hmm. Headwater centuries. Vanish the weak. Yes. I would be amongst them probably. Just kidding. Strong enough to do this. And get past mental illness. Okay. Dustborn Sky Marcher. Thundering Spineback. Marauding Looter. Priest of the Awakening Sun. Now his art looks really cool. Look at that. It's a one drop at the beginning of your upkeep. You may reveal a dinosaur from your hand if you do gain two life. Three colorless and two planes to sacrifice it. Search your library for a dinosaur, reveal it, put it in your interior hand, and then shuffle in your library. All that five mana just to go explore? Really? Kinda? All right, checklist, treasure. Last pack, guys, last pack, and I promise you I'll quit boring you with my antics and my... <laughs> my uh caffeine um rambling emergent growth i don't think we had one of those maybe savage stomp nice fiery cannonade fell flagship is a rare noise pirates i control get plus one plus zero when it deals combat damage to a player that player discards a card but i have to crew three Forest and Treasure, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, I really do appreciate it, and we'll hopefully see you in the next one, and maybe I can get this camera situated a little better so the glare is not so bad, and maybe I'll drink a lot less caffeine next time, but I have not been sleeping well, like I said, and uh, I wish you guys a Merry Christmas if I don't do another video before then, um, and again, thank you very much for coming out and hanging out with me. Uh, I do appreciate it. You can drop a like on the video or even share the video to show what an idiot I might be to other people. <laughs> but I, I really I really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming out and Merry Christmas to you or Happy Holidays if you're one who don't celebrate Christmas due to religion purposes. I just say Merry Christmas because I've been raised that kind of way, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, Anyways, take care, guys. Thanks for coming out. Bye-bye.